All right, uh, Coach, thank you for uh, taking some time out this morning on a special week for uh, for many Razorback fans. I know this has got to bring back some nostalgia. Clay and I and Ty have been discussing it all morning, just uh, the great memories of the Arkansas-Texas series. Uh, I know it's got to, uh, you know, brings back some, some special memories with you this week. Well, no question about it. I mean, uh, I go back to sitting in the driveway in my parents' car listening to the uh, 62, 64 game with the Brad Ham fumble and Hatfield punt return. And, you know, it's through those times that makes playing Texas special. I mean, all going through the ups and downs, much less as a player and a coach. So, hey, it's a big week. Yeah, I mean, uh, I know that, uh, yeah, anytime you have those memories from the from the games, whether it was in the you know the, the sixty nine game or some of the, the more memorable moments um, from coaching or playing, is there is there a particular game or a particular year that stands out to you most as you think back on all those times you were involved as a player and a coach with Texas? Well, you know when I was actually playing, I was sitting on the bench. <laughs> we beat Texas and Little Rock in a driving rainstorm, and I think it was seventy one. Uh, that was special as a player, and then coaching, playing them. You know, I think it was in the, in the Cotton Bowl uh, that I filled in for the bowl game. Did not coach during the year, and we really played well that game. So uh, again, it doesn't matter where it is or what the sport is. If it's Texas, it's a big game for the state of Arkansas. Coach, I was just kind of going through your your resume a little while ago, and I stumbled upon something that I'd forgotten, I guess. Uh, Danny Ford actually made you the assistant head coach, so uh, that you were defensive coordinator in the Cotton Bowl with Bobby Allen. Was Did you all share that title for that game? I, I don't know. I can't remember. I, he was probably the coordinator. I mean, I, I, I helped. I was a secondary coach, and uh, it didn't matter if you was Hauling the water in, you know, being a part of that was a great game. So we we just burned a, a table outside um, that had a Texas logo on it. I mean, do you think that Coach Matthews would have helped put put fuel on that? <laughs> Coach Matthews would probably have made the table out of matches itself. So yeah, <laughs> Coach Matthews would do whatever it takes. Uh, yeah. yeah, the the. Uh, do you think that the youngsters don't understand the, the Texas rivalry? I mean, even in your own family, do you have to kind of coach them a little bit, Lewis? Sure. I mean, of course, you know, we haven't played them. Uh, you know, they they know history as far as dating back to what they remember. So, you know, it's not a – I mean, it, all the memories, you know, the bad times as well as the good times, you know, they don't have – they don't have that experience uh, – knowing when they were growing up. So you, you really almost can't expect them to. But they'll be reminded of it plenty through this week. And, uh, I mean, it, you know, you, you just can't, unless you've been through it as close as you just can't hate them enough unless you've <laughs> been through all those years. And that certainly makes it special even more so. Former Razorback player and coach Lewis Campbell with us here, Arkansas, playing Texas uh, later this week, and we're glad to have uh, Coach on with us. Coach, what were your thoughts when you heard that Texas and OU were going to join the SEC and it became official and that this Arkansas-Texas series and rivalry will, will be renewed on a on a regular basis? Mixed feelings. I mean, to be real honest, just as a coach or person or whatever, I don't know. I kind of hate to see it, to be real honest. You know, not, not – I mean, we, we we came into the SEC, obviously, so but just – I don't know. I guess I'm more of a status quo person than I am changed. But uh, with all the transfer portals and there's a, such a tumultuous time as this is for college athletics, uh, you know, I – I don't know. I wish it stayed the way it was, but I guess that's just part of being not old, as Clay says, just older. <laughs> Coach, I, I know you've, you've been to practice a little bit, and uh, there might be a time to reminisce with old, with old friends as much to watch practice, and then there's the game Saturday. I assume you, you watched. And what do you see from, from 
you know, a coaching perspective, you know, what's what's going on with Barry Odom's defense and just the style of play, what you see with, you know, Sam Pittman and, and you know, where is this program going, Coach? I think it's going up. I don't think there's any question about that. How long it takes, who knows. But, you know, I know from this week before, it was not game week. It was the week before. I mean, from going to practice and, I'd been to practice, you know, from the other coaches as well. And when I got out there, and <laughs> to be real honest, when I heard coaches hollering, and you might have heard a cuss word every now and then, <laughs> but I thought, yes, I'm back, you know. <laughs> I was like, we're back into football now. And, hey, they get after them. They do it in a constructive manner. But there's no question who's running the show out there. And that's what makes me feel good about Coach Pittman, about his staff. It's great to have Dow Loggins back and to, you know, to have a former Razorback on the staff. I think it's important, but it made me feel good to, to have that kind of representation. But I feel good about the staff, uh, about how they're going about it and what they're doing, and I think it's just a matter of time before it all comes together. Coach, as, as someone that understands, particularly uh, with the experience in coaching and playing the back end of the defense, when you watch Jalen Catalan, I think about the Razorback greats that have come before him in, in more recent times, like Steve Adwater and Kenoy Kennedy. When you watch Jalen Catalan play, and he had the two interceptions, the 11 tackles, and he plays with a physical nature, um, A, where do you think he stacks up amongst some of the greats that have played at the safety position at Arkansas? And B, what do you see in his game from a coaching perspective? Well, I mean, I, when I look at him from a coaching perspective, I think, hey, that's what you look for. I mean, he's a guy, obviously, that plays with a lot of passion. Uh, you can tell football is important to him. And he's a good player. I mean, he has ability, you know. <laughs> Some of us that played might have had all those things, but, you know, we couldn't run out of sight in the week. Well, he gets around the football, and he makes an impact when he's there. And he's a catalyst for the defense. I mean, he, he's... You know, he in this day, I just worry about him being able to finish the game. You know, for at some point when you hit somebody in the head, I mean, I, I'm for the rule, and I'm certainly for protecting the players. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It, it, I, I guess I refer to Lane Kiffin's comment last night on TV, and I'll leave it at that. <laughs> Yeah, we saw plenty of those targeting calls uh, in that uh, Ole Miss Louisville game uh, last yep. night. So, and hey, it's a good rule. I'm not saying it's not. I mean, I think you certainly need to protect the game, and you need to protect the individuals. Yeah, and uh, yeah, I think the way they practiced. I mean, you talking about targeting. I, you, know, you see the videos and the in the photos of practice, and they're wearing the protective padding over the helmets. That wasn't even thought of in your day when you were either uh, playing in Arkansas, coaching Arkansas, or coaching or w- working with Coach Bear Bryant. Uh, uh, the idea of softening up practice wasn't even a thought in those days, was it? <laughs> no. When you saw the tackles that are getting uh, e- ejections today. I mean, hey, that's what it was all about back then. Of course, you know, we, we weren't very smart, didn't have all the medical expertise now, but, uh, you know, the, the Kenny Hamlins and those guys, uh, I don't know how long they will last. But it's just a matter of, hey, bottom line is you can't tackle with your head, so you better get low. Coach, I know you probably watched a lot of football this weekend, and uh, you know that and play with grandkids. I think that's your your mission. Maybe a little fishing too. Um, you see anybody derailing Alabama? Oh, good grief! You know, I mean, I watch Arkansas, and I watch my son's team who coaches at North Alabama. But uh, you know, I don't see enough teams, and I don't know those more enough to tell the difference in a lot of them. But I know Alabama looked awful well. Uh, go ahead, Clay. Ask the last one here, and then uh, we'll. All right. Uh, go. So, so you you're going to the game, right? You'll be in the in in the in the stands for for Arkansas, Texas. I have I have tickets. Look, my son plays at the exact same time that the Arkansas Texas game, so uh, I will watch my son's team and flip over on during the uh, commercials to check on Arkansas. You're going to multitask. Blood, yep. Blood's thicker than water. <laughs> Absolutely. So, 
Well, Coach, uh, thank you for taking some time for us this morning. A good walk down memory lane, and uh, you were uh, certainly a special part of a lot of those Arkansas Texas memories over the years. Well, I appreciate it. Thank you, Don. Hey, upside down with them. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Got Lewis. it right. Yeah. That's right. Lewis Thanks, Campbell Coach. With us. Thanks, Coach. Right. Lewis Campbell with Thanks. us here uh, on the Morning Rush. Today. It's that time of the year again, and all eyes are now turning to football as teams are back on the gridiron to start the football season. As always, Bet Online is your number one spot for all of the pro and college football action this season. Get all of the updated odds, props, and contests, including the online's biggest half million dollar NFL mega contest, the world's largest 200,000 NFL survivor contest. Open now at Bet Online. Here's what you have to do: head to the website or use your mobile device to sign up today and receive your 100% welcome bonus. Take advantage of their opening day super promo. Make a bet on the Thursday, September 9th season opener between the Super Bowl champion Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the Dallas Cowboys. And if you lose, your wager is going to be refunded for up to $25 for new customers only when signing up and using the promo code NFL100. Bet Online is the fastest. And easiest way to bet on all your favorite sports. Bet online, your online sportsbook experts.